Hi, everybody. Hello. Welcome to the Nine Mile Swap. I'm Kurt. I'm Cheryl. All the ferns inside the old bookstore. Emily, one, two, three, dust the books and sweeps across the oaken floor. There's nothing more. She grins at Mrs. Riley and she's out the door. As oftentimes she's done before Emily strains to see fingerprints on windows and the big brass door her special choice although she cleans them every day there's always more bankers laugh she doesn't Shopkeepers that once she knew. Emily, wearily, calls on all the stores along the avenue. Some are new, old and friendly faces now have grown so few. She waits and then she Thank you. 
this love for me all That uh, there's probably going to be uh, that the rest of the songs in the set are probably going to be about parakeets. You may notice we have a parakeet special effect in the background. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I guess covering Peru doesn't keep him from enjoying and participating in the music. No, it's true. <laughs> but hi, Michael. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mom. And anybody else who's watching, just uh, drop us a line so we know you're there. That's great. I'm glad to have you join us. This next song is called Walls of Fire, Hills of Ice, one of those, one of those um, a perennial uh, songs in which musicians claim, uh, complain about playing gigs, and uh, which, of course, when you're not playing gigs, they, they complain even more. But <laughs>
Yes, right. and hi there, John. Glad you could join us. Yeah. And Carol, good to see you on too. And I think I saw, did I see Mark Hotelling's name? Yes, you did. Yeah, so if you're watching, just drop us a line so we know you're there. We'll respond to you later when we get a moment.
that was a lyric written by William Morris, and it's a, it's a, it's obviously if, if you're listening, you, you may have noticed it's a it's a song about men who say they're going out to fetch the cows and bring the sheep, and when they're really going off as a war band, and um, and I guess uh, and I guess the women know that, and this is sort of a ritual, and um, when they get back. Uh, in the novel, there's this wonderful scene where the, the men come back and they're wearing their war gear, and the women meet them in war gear, <laughs> and, uh, and they sort of slug it out, and uh, and they and they match up and have multiple weddings. It's uh, it's it's sort of barbarous, but uh, <laughs> it is after all a a novel about goth people, <laughs> uh, and that brings us to I hear my name, I think. Yes, it does. Okay. Right. Oops. Hi, mom. I saw your name pop up. Are you ready, Madara? I believe so. And that's the right harmonica. It's my nice, shiny, red C harmonica from Michael. Thank you, you Michael. Don't, you don't use a G harmonica in this? No, I don't use a C harmonica. Okay. <laughs> I was just don't wondering. Don't get me confused. No, I'm sorry. No, goodness, no, I don't want to do that. Uh, this is called I Hear My Name. I hear my name come whispering through the trees. The night shines cold. Sky is clear, no clouds obscure the view. So strange to think I can't see you. The moon is shining brightly, the Lord against the light shining bright. It's shining on me. It moves across the skyway. Please don't wonder why I spend my time so rolling on me. My baby.
Thanks, Michael. Hey, Blaze, great to see you on. Enjoyed your barbecue pictures that you posted. I'm gonna fax some of that barbecue over here. Yeah, that would be nice. Thanks everybody for tuning in. So this next song, uh, I alludes to uh, Thomas Jefferson, who, uh, as you all know, was a very was a very a, a very brilliant but uh, compromised and, and problematic man. And uh, yeah, I like to. I hope history will be. Uh, well, if there is any history, I hope history will be somewhat kind to us because we preached environmentalism and spent most of our lives uh, tearing down the highways. Uh, and that's partially about what this is about. It's, it's a little bit about hypocrisy and it's, it's also a little bit about future generations. Uh, I wrote this song after we did a show uh, beneath an oak tree that is, was a, I've never seen an oak tree like this before. It was literally a dinosaur. It was the hugest thing I've ever seen. And, and I believe, you know, you know, I don't know this, but I believe that that tree was, was around when Jefferson was around. And maybe I'm wrong about that, but it seems to me that that tree is, is that old. It happens to be in Stone Ridge and the Stone Ridge Orchards, if you ever go there and you want to see something magnificent. Way up on top of the hill on the map. Yeah, it's fabulous. Yeah. just for fun I wasn't going to do this but this is uh, since I'm in this tuning this is a, a song uh, sung um, during the American Revolution in England when the um, when the sailors were being um, impressed to, to go into the uh, British Navy to uh, to fight the war Oh, the sounds 
very plain Such a dainty fine sight I behold As lasses run crying Tearing their hair For the routers just come for the blues For the routers just come for the blues And each one ran home to her mother Full run, saying the heart is undone It is true I pack up my clothes without more delay And boldly I'll march with the blues And the boldly I'll march with the blues The landlord and landlady walks hand in hand And so do they pretty girls too And each one holds up a bottle of gin to drink a good health to the blues To drink a good health to the blues Our ship, she is rigged and we'll all set sail So sweetly the French horn plays too And each one sends up a loud bazaar Success to King George and his blues Success to King Such gallant young fellows you never will find Though you search Bonnie Britain all through When dressed in his majesty's suit you'll agree There and none can compare with the blues There and none can compare with the blues As I cross over Salisbury Plain such a dainty fine sight I behold As lasses run crying and tearing their hair For the routers just come for the blues Yeah, the routers just come for the blues Route of the blues Yeah You know, I was just thinking if the British had won the war, we would have health insurance. <laughs> the Beatles would be our band. <laughs> we would not have Kevin McCarthy. We would not have Rand Paul. It was certainly not the fat Donald Trump. So anyhow, uh, I've got a couple poems for you. Uh, and uh, I think they're both really, they're both short and they're really cool. And as I always like to say, if, if you don't want to hear the poems, this is a great time to get a snack. But <laughs> this is, these are really good. The first poem I'm going to read uh, is um, by Robert Hayden. Robert Hayden uh, was the first African-American poet laureate. They didn't call it poet laureate when, uh, when Robert Hayden uh, was the was the poet laureate? It was uh, it was it was some office in the Library of Congress that had to do with poetry somehow. But in essence, he was the guy, the American guy that was you know the chief of poetry, the poet laureate, so so to speak. This is a poem that he he often wrote historical poems and sometimes poems about people. Uh, this is a poem about the great Frederick Douglass, and it is called Frederick Douglass. When it is finally ours, this freedom, this liberty, this beautiful and terrible thing, needful to man as air, usable as earth, when it belongs at last to all, when it is truly instinct, brain matter, diastole, systole, reflex action, when it is finally won, when it is more, than the gaudy mumbo-jumbo of politicians, this man, Douglas, this Douglas, this former slave, this Negro, beaten to his knees, exiled, visioning a world where none is lonely, none hunted, alien, this man, superb in love and logic, this man, shall be remembered. Oh, not with statues' rhetoric, 
not with legends and poems and wreaths of bronze alone, but with the lives grown out of his life, the lives fleshing his dream of the beautiful, needful thing. This next one is by Bertolt Brecht. It's called On the Burning of Books. Bertolt Brecht, of course, was a famous German theater uh, person, I believe. Uh, he died in 1956. And he's best known for Three Penny Opera and, and several other plays. And uh, it, it occurs to me as I read this how incredibly relevant this is because we're living in an age where the pig dogs that are running, I should, I should be nice, I like pigs and I like dogs, but a pig dog is a different thing. It's neither a pig nor a dog. It's a greedy thing that simply wants to hang on to minority control of things. But these people who want to hang on to minority control will do it by sacrificing true history, by erasing what happened to people like the, like the people who look like Frederick Douglass, who want to erase the history. And when they're done erasing the history of African Americans, when they're done doing that, be sure, they will erase your history also if that's necessary. They'll erase the history of the Irish if they have to, the Italians if they have to, the Poles if they have to. The Japanese that were in internment camps, the Chinese and all the rest of the Asians that are being persecuted now, they will erase that history too. Be sure of it. On the burning of books. When the new masters announced that books full of harmful knowledge were to be publicly burned, and when here and yonder oxen were made to draw carts full of books to the stake, a poet hunted from home, he was one of the best, discovered aghast when reading the list of those burned, his own books had been forgotten. He rushed to his desk, furious, and wrote to the rulers. Burn me at once, he wrote with a frantic pen. You cannot do this to me. How can you spare me? Have I not always recorded the truth in my books? And now you class me with liars? This is an order. Burn me. What do we got there? Looks like no one man. Ooh, okay. Um, you know, I think I will use the acoustic guitar for this. You will? Okay. Will. That was, that's different, too. You changed your mind on <laughs> that did, one, yeah. huh? No one man. No one man, by the way, this song is on, uh, is on our album. Uh, Flaming June. It's on Flaming June. And uh, one, of the, one of the really delightful things about it, if, if you get a chance to hear it, is the violin that Larry Packer plays uh, in the choruses. It's, it's just beautiful. And Larry's going to be joining us on a couple of our August that's shows. That's right. Larry will be joining us at... at Wyndham. That's right, at the uh, Wyndham, Wyndham, local, uh, Public Wyndham House. local Pub. And, and he'll be there for that? Yep, that's the second Friday in August. And then the day after that, we're playing at... Rhinebeck Community Garden, just an acoustic set, um, just the three of us again, which should be fun. So you can check out uh, dognoseband.com to get more information on those shows. And while we're talking about it, we have a really nice show coming up at the Town Crier Cafe on August 20th. That's a Friday night at 6.30. So make your reservations for dinner. Join us. That'd yeah, be great. We're going to be joined on that one. Um, um, most likely by a Jamaican drummer, uh, Ruperto Eiffel, and uh, bassist Alan Groth. So yeah, that's going to be a really, really, really nice night at the Italian Make your reservation. Okay, this is No One Man. Here we go. Mm -hmm.
December and the snow rides with the breeze. I remember you marked my way by trees. I've got nowhere I want to go. I'm just moving slow. Alone, I'm all alone. There's no one. Much better to do that 
I was destined to go far. Well, I went far down to the bottom of the lonely sawdust bars. But you know, it doesn't matter if I've got one more song to show that we're one foot over the starting line, the other said to go. Yes, we're just one foot over the starting line, the other said to go. Thank you very much for tuning in tonight. We'll see you next Sunday. Such a pleasure to play for you. We really enjoy it. Yes, and we hope that you enjoyed our newest member of the band, Perush the Parakeet. <laughs> <laughs> we are grateful that you could make it. Thanks for dropping us a line. Check out our website, dognoseband.com, and perhaps you'll be able to come out and hear us play live. Good night, folks. Good night, everybody.